Hi everyone and welcome to week 11. So we're very much on the home stretch now for the semester with just a couple of weeks to go. This week we're looking at trust and ethics and in our class this week we'll have Professor Peter Bruiser along to talk about some research that he conducted using um, a platform called Mechanical Turk to crowdsource data on projects related to trust and ethics. So that will be a really interesting guest lecture. On the site this week, we're also dealing with the topic of trust and ethics, and you'll be asked to reflect on one of a series of questions, um, and you can choose one of those for your reflect task this week. This week, the teaching team is very busily marking all of your blog posts from week two till week seven, and you guys should be working on the posts for the remainder of the semester. Unfortunately, I need to spend a little bit of this video um, talking about some less than positive things, um, but they're important to talk about. First of all, I need to reiterate that each post that you make, each reflect post that you're meant to make in this unit is worth essentially 6.6 .6 marks. So if you miss a reflect post or you submit one late, we will make a 6.6 .6 mark reduction to your mark for the assignment. So that means that you can potentially um, really deplete your grade by not completing all of the posts. So please make sure that you are getting your posts in. If you're running late with your post, just write something and then improve on it later. So we give you the opportunity to keep updating your posts right up till the marking point. So your posts from week eight onwards, you can still be editing those now right up until we ask you to finalize them for submission in week 14. So please make sure that you are submitting them on time. We are going to be lenient with the first assignment in terms of on-time submission or the first uh, marking point, but we're not going to be lenient on the second. So please make sure that you get them in. I was pretty surprised to see how many of you missed one or more posts. There's really no reason for you to miss them. We're not ogres. If you contact us about having difficulty meeting a due date, we are willing to work with you. So please don't ever miss a post. There's really, really no reason for it at all because we're very willing to help you out and to be flexible. I also wanted to reiterate a couple of things about the content of your posts. Firstly, it's really important that while we want you to present your critical reflections and your opinions on things, that you back up your arguments with the literature. So I don't just want to see you writing, I think X and Y. I want you to tell me, I think X and Y because of, and then tell us how you arrived at those conclusions, um, cite some literature to back up your perspective and make sure that you are grounding your critical reflections in some form of evidence or um, in the literature. So critical reflection, the word reflection doesn't just mean fluff. We do want you to write um, meaty content that is well backed up. The second thing I needed to say about content is that you must reference any idea that is not your own. So if you've read an article and you've read, well say you've read two articles and you've come up, come grabbed an idea from article one and an idea from article two and you've kind of synthesized those into your own analysis, that's absolutely fine. But you need to acknowledge that idea one and idea two came from these different places. So it's really important that you are referencing to tell us where those ideas came from and you're referencing um, any material you are quoting and that material that you have quoted is contained within inverted commas, so speech bubbles or speech brackets. You cannot copy and paste from any source on the internet, in a book, in a journal article, in a magazine. You must recognize other people's works or acknowledge other people's work by including a citation and using inverted commas around quotation marks. So please make sure that you are, request, you are referencing correctly for the posts that you submit for the remainder of the semester. Now on to talking about assignment three. Um, over the last several days, I've been loading material onto the unit site about the assignment. So there is um, some information there to help you uh, that kind of um, 
fleshes out the requirements in a bit more detail. And I've been making some posts on the blog about um, topics related to the assignment as well. You'll find all the information related to that assignment fed into the assignment three page on the unit site. And there's a fair bit of stuff there for you to work through. There is a page there of resources for you about creating video content and the irony of that is that I'm creating not a great video right now where the lighting is not awesome um, and I'm creating a video at home at night without a light set up. So um, it, this is very much a case of do as I say and not as I do. This is not an awesome video. So. Um, I've put up some options for how you can approach the assignment in terms of what kind of video you make um, and I'll also be posting some more material that will help you over the next several days. Finally, although we are on the home stretch for the semester, you still have lots of work left to do in this unit. In particular, you need to be commenting on each other's blogs and I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, I know, but there just isn't enough activity happening on the unit site. Make it your mission this week to significantly increase the number of uh, posts that you read and posts that you engage with. Aim for 10 comments this week and make those insightful comments. So make sure you are reading at least 10 to 15 blog posts. You should be able to do that in a couple of hours, no worries. Remember, you should be putting in 10 to 12 hours a week in every unit. And if you're not doing that here, then you are going to miss out on marks somewhere. You'll either miss out on marks on your posts because you haven't done a good enough job of them, or you'll miss out on marks on the participation component because you haven't been contributing to the learning community. So please get in there and do that. It's really important stuff. Okay, I won't be seeing you in class on Friday. My uh, colleague, Professor Peter Bruiser, will be running class, but I'll be back with you next week. We'll be doing a uh, gamification activity on campus um, which will have you doing all sorts of different challenges and there will be prizes so please do come along and in week 13 we will have a wrap-up lecture and that will be online only so um, next week is the last time I'll see you for the semester in person so um, enjoy the class on Friday I know you will it's a really interesting lecture and I will see many of you on campus next week for our gamification activity. Have a great week guys!